So now we have loaded the data into Python. Into H, we have loaded HTML code into Python, and also we pass that one to Beautiful Soup, so that is a very a very famous Python library. Uh, so although the it is very easy to use, so we still need to understand the the structure of the HTML code. So. Um, Beautiful Soup cannot extract everything automatically for you. So you as a programmer, you as an analyst should still understand the structure of the HTML um, of your target website. And that probably is the hardest part and also most complicated part. And fortunately, so there um, a lot of web browsers is a Chrome or Firefox or Firefox um, that has uh, some inspection tools. So that is normally called develop tools. Uh, I'm not sure that Mac browser has such tool, but uh, Chrome and also uh, Firefox do have those uh, tools. That basically is called specifically you're looking at the inspection tools beneath the develop tools that allow you to show the HTML source code and also allow you to see the relationship of different tags. So basically, it will look like this. So, uh, so on the left side, that will be the normal web page, and on the right side, so that is the tool. So that is, uh, it shows the source code. So every time when you highlight some specific areas that you're interested, so the corresponding source code will also be highlighted. So that will help you to understand a web page, especially the structure of the web page. So that is a very, very useful tool. Okay, so let's see how it looks like. So here I'm opening my website web, web page and I'm using Chrome. So if you are using, you can use Chrome or you can use uh, Firefox. So normally if you right click and you can see view the source, um, the view the page source, so here you can see the HTML code, which is a little bit, is pretty simple actually for this one. But if you're looking at the other web pages, they are very, very complicated. So that's why that on Chrome, if you right click, you can see there's a function called inspect. So if you just click inspect and this window pop up and you can see it's very nice that the visible part is a body part. So if I click the, if my mouse, uh, covers uh, click the body you can see the entire HTML code will be highlighted and if you expand you can see here's h1 tag the image the p tag okay the h1 tag image and also p tag for the header so they all style something so the, it will not showing up here um, and also if you expand okay the p tag has a, a tag that is the child tag of this p tag and everything is a child tag of the body tag, and everything else is a child of the child tags of this HTML tag. And here we can see we have two DRV tags. So the first DRV tag has one H tag, H2 tag, and also unordered list. The second DRV tag has an, another H2 tag, and also has a table. And you can even go to each specific cell of the table okay so that is very very helpful so when you try to understand the data and uh, you can also select those uh, you can put your mouse move to those elements and also identify the corresponding html tags so for example if you click this one and now if you mouse move to different specific contents and you can see on the right side those corresponding um, source code are highlighted Okay, so if you click that, you can see this is a visible part belong to this P tag, which is beneath this H1 tag, and that is also uh, belong to this body tag. And again, so if you look at the schedule, so that is a visible part of this H2 tag, which belong to this DRV tag. So now we can uh, inspect the HTML code, and in our case, uh, the web the web page is 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 very simple, and also actually we wrote that web page. So now let's look at some functions that of the sub function. 
So first, we can also find out the specific tag by telling Beautiful Soup the name of the tag. And also, you can also specify the attribute. So that syntax is that the tag dot find all. And you can type the tag name. So it is, is that h tag, h1 tag, dre tag, etc. And you can also distinguish those tags by their attribute. For example, the ID attribute, the href attribute, etc. So for example, if you can find out all the DRV tags and you can print those DRV tags. The soup is a root tag. So this is the equivalent to the HTML tag. Okay. And this will retain a DRV tag and you can print all the DRV tags. And for different type of tags, you can also dive uh, into deep, dive one step further. So based on um, on different attributes of those same tags. For example, you can distinguish by their IDs or by their, their classes, class. However, for the class, remember that the class should have any score because class itself is a keyword in Python. So if you want to distinguish based on class attribute, you have to use class and score. Okay, uh, so let's see one example. So. Uh, so here we it will retain all the DRV tag in our HTML code. So however, if we only want DRV tag whose ID equals DRV2, and we can see for all the DRV tag in this soup, we find out DRV tag whose ID equals DRV2. And now you can see in this return result only the a content of the DRV2 and also its all child tags are retained. And similarly, we can also find out tags based on the class attribute. So for example, we want to find out a tag, DRV tag, where the class has attribute is class DRV style. And in this case, you can see that all the, only the DRV tag whose class equals this one will be returned. And also all its child tag will be returned. Okay. So let's look at one example. So here, again, we know that uh, here we have two DRV tags. So the, uh, this is the first DRV tag uh, where it has one attribute that is called DRV ID called DRV1, and also another attribute class is called DRV and scores style. And the second DRV tag, it just has ID, which is called DRV2. Okay, for the first DRV tag, we have a list and also H2 uh, heading. For the second DRV tag, we have H2 heading and also a table. Okay, uh, so now if we go back to our um, Python script, we know that now we have the soup. Okay, so if we print soup, we will find out uh, print all the tags. So here, if we see for all the DRV tag in soup dot find all so here we want to find out the other drvs and we can print the drv okay so now you can see we have two drvs so the first drv tag and also the second drv tag okay and you can try to find out something else so for example if i want to find out all the h2 tag oops all the h2 tag so H2 and let's print all the H2 and now you can see I just find out all the H2 tags okay and let's go back to the DRV and here we know that we have two DRV tags for the first DRV tags ID equals uh, this and for the second DRV tag ID equals this. So let's say we only want this DRV tag. What we can do is that we can tell that the attribute. So for example, ID equals DRV1. And now you can see only the DRV tag and also its child tag will be retained. And if we see ID equals DRV2, 
Okay, only in this div tag will be returned. And if we want to call use a class, so we can also say class. Remember, class is a reserved word. So class and score equals and div style. And now we can say this div tag, which has a div style, will be returned. Uh, if you are looking for something that does not exist, so nothing will be returned. For example, style one is not here. If you run it, nothing will be returned. And also this return tag is also uh, similar to the soup project. So for example, if you want to see, find out the DRV tag, the H2 tag that belong to this DRV tag, you can just dot call it H2. Okay, so it will return H2 tag. 